Mohamed Munir is a virologist at Lancaster University. He joins me now from Lancaster in the United Kingdom. Thank you for joining us here on the program, uh, Dr. Munir. So I want to ask about this cruise ship in Japan first. We're still seeing more cases of people being confirmed to have the coronavirus, even though people have been quarantined now for a couple weeks. How concerning is that despite Despite people being quarantined, we're still seeing more and more cases every single day of people on that ship being confirmed to have the virus. Well, since the, the start of this quarantine process in the cruise, uh, many people in the scientific community, they've been really criticizing. I mean, one of the reasons that we have been criticizing is that although it look a very good experimental unit where you can quarantine people in an isolation, but at the same time, the environment in the cruise is pretty conducive and crowded. So uh, they are highly likely that the infection is spreading between uh, the passengers more frequently than they would have been quarantined outside. And that is the reason that every day more and more cases start to come up. And now um, it seems like almost everyone um, is infected uh, or will be infected very soon. Mm -hmm. Because we had uh, the U.S. send a plane to uh, bring many of its citizens back to America, but there were still many Americans who chose to stay on board the ship. Do you think that was a wise choice then for some of those Americans to decide to stay behind? Well, uh, in terms of really containing the infection, the best possible approach would have been to uh, quarantine and to uh, put all of the passenger or the vulner vulnerable cases at the same place um, uh, so that a consolidated effort could be made to really screen and, and identify the patient and then to treat them accordingly. Having um, uh, distributing them at two different places, um, I do understand that all the control measures will be put in place um, and the quarantine and the uh, uh, subsequent treatment in the cruise. However, they still are about to fly um, uh, to the United States at some point. That will lead to another layer of um, uh, vulnerability for the rest of the population. So bringing all of those as vulnerable or positive cases um, at single place would have been a more wiser choices. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you about some of the um, extreme quarantine measures that we've seen in China, virtually shutting down entire cities and now possibly talking about uh, postponing or canceling its annual legislative session, which begins in just a couple of weeks. Do you think that these quarantine measures are working? Because we were seeing a, a drop in uh, the number of confirmed cases over the last couple of days, but now we've seen uh, the number of cases go up again. Yes, I mean, if we really look into the start of these uh, control measures, I think these definitely have helped to not only contain the infection within China, but also the number of cases that are we, we are seeing um, overseas are significantly uh, less. Um, if, if those control measures would have not been put in place, the overall number would increase substantially. But at the same time, uh, the, the worrying point is that the, the situation within China is not really under control. Although number of cases on a daily basis is going up and down, however, overall impact is pretty high. Um, at least 100 people die every day, which is a substantial number if we really look into. So it seems like the situation within China is really not um, fully under control, and it seems like it is uh, slipping out of the hand of China. But the situation overseas is seems like pretty pretty good. Yeah, um, we really have seen this virus spread. Um basically out of control in China, but we really haven't seen a similar spread outside of China. Why do you think that is, uh, despite all these quarantine measures in China, that we haven't seen it spread even further um, around the world and in other countries? One of the positive knock-on effect right from the beginning has been that Chinese government at this time point, they've been pretty quick and very uh, uh, efficient in providing this information that was required to devise better sensitive uh, diagnostic assays. And because of those availability of the information, the overall uh, quarantine and overall the awareness and the control measure that were required to contain the infection globally were really up to the mark. So that is one of the primary reasons that most of the developed country or the countries, those are expecting a large influx of the passengers from China. They are really well prepared and they are in the position to identify people who could potentially carry the infection to the population. And because the cases were identified in the beginning of the time, um, which were positive, and if those would have not been identified, the overall impact would be higher. And this is, I think, one of the decisive factors to uh, not having that much of impact um, overseas than what we see in China. All right, we're going to leave it there. Dr. Mohammed Munir, thank you for your time.